so yeah once you see the simulation and you see the repeat you see the what has been shall be what shall be has been nothing new under the sun you can see all the games from hollywood to politics to medical to dental to uh news media uh nation fighting against nation and uh, weather threats wars rumors of wars as in the days of Noah, so shall it be. As in the days of Lot, so shall it be. Same stuff, repeating. And it just keeps going. It just keeps continuing. The drama, the Draco Miles. Looking up the word, uh, what was the word in, uh, in the Hebrew, or in the, the Greek, I think. What was that word? goes back the de- it's a word for the devil i can't remember but it was uh it was it was the transliteration was m a b a d the accuser of the brethren or something it was i can't remember which word it was but it goes back to the devil's uh character or something like that but it was ma bad m a b a d the transliteration from the Greek or the Hebrew was M A B A D. M is water, A is blood, bad is just bad. Water and blood, bad. Now, what does that mean? See, the devil. The devil wouldn't have any power except for the Ma creatures, you know. And the Ma creatures are the M-A-N. Man, God made man in his image, but man fell. So M-A-E is water, blood, spirit, the born again. But the M-A creatures have a king. There's a kingdom of darkness and a kingdom of light. And so the Ma creatures, the unsaved, water and blood creatures are running on a program and they're sinners and they're bad till they get born again which is the elect who have the spirit the letter E is spirit so the mob bad king the devil runs these mob creatures and you can see through the program and it's just like uh, it's just like if you watch the movie uh, Dark City, it's just like that. They, t- I watched that movie two or three times, and one of the creatures says, "We possess your dead. We possess your dead." And so the demons in that movie were trying to get into the <coughs> the human, and they were programming all the all the humans with false memories, right? They were programming people with false memories. And that's what they're doing with the music. The music is a programming, the TV shows, everything in your system is programming you into some kind of false memory or false reality, false paradigm or whatever. And so it's really it's really off the roof how accurate that movie is. So the dead those you're you're dead in trespasses and sins right until you get born again so the creatures who are who are dead maybe i should decode this movie and everything that happened in that movie is actually happening now so the god of this world system is the devil right and so every system that he has set up is a programming system for the for the ma creatures and M.A. is water and blood, the man or the woman. And so the Ma creatures, water and blood creatures who are not saved are being programmed by the devil. And so once you get saved, you renew your mind. Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the world is under the control of the dark side. So everything in the system's a lie. Everything in the system's upside down.
And these people are walking around in a dream world. They're dreamers. They're not even living in reality. They're living in a dream. And so, it's inside the movie, they would, uh, every, every time the sun went down, they'd reprogram them, reprogram the city, change things around, like the Mandela effect. And so they, they would see people who woke up, and so the people who woke up, they would persecute. One guy who woke up, he ended up jumping off a bridge because he realized it was all just a big joke. You know, somebody says, what about the case? First of all, he, the guy, his partner came to his house and says, you're scaring your wife. He said, she ain't my wife. I don't know who she is. He says, "Are you? have you looked at the case? He said, there ain't no case. It's all a big joke. Don't you get it? You can't escape this city. You can't escape this big Lie. So what was happening though is the the demon possessed people. The demons were using these uh, possessed people to try to see into the soul of the saved, trying to understand souls. Or their, but they were looking at their mind. And then finally, at the end of the movie, the guy looked at the other guy. He says, "You looked in the wrong place. You you were looking at their thoughts, but you should have looked at their heart. You know, their soul." And the guy didn't even understand. So the demons are trying to get, trying to possess humans to get back to God. But if a if a born again uh, shows up on the scene, that demon has to come out. You know, the demons, the demons, the witches—they're looking for real love, but they have no real love because they don't have the Holy Spirit. And if you ever deal with one of those witches. They're drawn to you because of your heart and your your love for mankind, love for souls. They don't understand that, but they want to be. They want to actually be around you, but they would spoil it because they're flesh creatures. So you're a spirit creature. You're you're walking in the spirit, right? For the most part, because it's by faith anyway. And so then, let's say one of these witches pretend to be saved and they yoke up with you and they ruin it they ruin it and it's true for the saved women if a saved woman marries a narcissist the narcissist is going to ruin it they 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 worse they see you and you have love in your heart you love to see souls get saved you know you're willing to sacrifice and go the extra mile you know they would never do that because they don't have real love. They don't have the love of Christ in them. And so, these creatures, which were demons really in the movie, they weren't called demons, but these creatures, he possessed the dead. And uh, they could manipulate reality. And this one guy who learned, he, he woke up, but he was able to manipulate reality. He didn't jump off the bridge. He just made he made things better. He made his world better. But I promise you, a lot of these people, like the Hollywood people, the presidents, the the, the politicians, they're demon possessed. They all do witchcraft and sorcery and try to put music in your eye gate, your ear gate. They're trying to do, you know, the MTV went to the eye gate and the ear gate. Think about that. That's when things started going down, I believe, during when the MTV showed up on the scene. But when you really wake up to what this place really is, you will actually just be totally different than everybody else because everybody's running on a program. You might be running on a redneck program. A hood program. You might be running on a yuppie program. You might be running on a, a Jehovah's Witness, a Mormon program, a Baptist program, a Methodist program, a cult, a ism, a capitalist, a socialist. You know there's socialism in our country? This is a capitalist country, but there's a lot of people in socialism, especially the older people and the kids, you know. 
out of all the countries, this is probably the best system we have in place. But you still have to manage your stuff, you know. It's all a big show. Like that guy, it's all a big joke. The guy says, have you looked at the case? He said, what case? There ain't no case. It's all a big joke. So see, they have you so occupied with your job, with your work, with your insurance, your tax, your titles, your taxes, your, your uh, license, your renewals, your you know, every year you got to do this and file this and keep tracks of this and do this. And uh, when you get married, there's expectations from the in-laws and the outlaws and the neighbors and the churches. They want you so occupied in a church or a job. They want you so preoccupied with something so that you don't wake up to the game. And there's agents all over. They always show up. And it's like... It's like ridiculous. It's insanity. It's total insanity, to be honest with you. It's total insanity. When you wake up to it, and they modify the weather, they actually send a lightning. One time I backed in my driveway, and I was getting ready to get out of the car, and this big lightning bolt hit right beside me. And the diameter of it was like, the diameter of that lightning bolt must have been 18 inches. I know it was larger than a foot. And it knocked out all my electronics in the house, everything. If I would have stepped out like a two or three seconds earlier, it would have hit me. I mean, it's right beside my door. Knocked out all the electronics in the house. I was in the driveway. Knocked out everything. It was wild stuff. So when you wake up, and you start to wake other people up, I mean, your music, your country music, your rock music, your rap music, all your music, anything that they throw at you, it's a culture programming. And you think, just like in that movie, you think those are your thoughts. You think those are your memories. You think those are, they play the same game t towards other, a thousand people like you. There's a thousand people like you out there that they've played these same games. Maybe more than that, maybe 10,000, but... That's why you have red versus blue. That's why you have people fighting each other. That's part of the game. And you don't even know you're in the game. You don't even know it's a game. The life that they built for you, you're stuck in that city. Even, let's say you did travel, but you go around the same circuit every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And you stay... And you die, you're born in this city, you go around the circuit, you die in this city. You might move to another city, but you're still in a city and you die. Wherever you end up, still the same tree, same grass, same dirt, you end up dying. Doesn't matter if you're in the same city you were born in or a different city. Long story short, It's a big, fat joke. And the only thing good out of it is to get you to get saved. But I promise you, it's, it's no different than a cartoon. They put, unless you're, unless you're in the Word, unless you're in the Bible, you're living in a cartoon. Your reality is cartoonish unless it's based on the Bible. And the sad part is, I wish what I was saying wasn't true, but it is. The cars you drive, the windows you buy, the door you buy, the, 
the way they want you to mow your grass, the way they want you to do whatever, it's all just a fake reality. Why do you think the prophets, why do you think Jesus, they just lived out in the, in the woods? They weren't a part of the system. When you first read about it, when you first see that, when you first wake up, to, you're like, wow. And they send agents. They send agents to, to try to keep you in the box. And some of these people sell out, and they're CIA agents or something. They're FBI, CIA, Catholic. They're usually Catholic or some kind of cult, you know? And it's like... The best thing you can do is find some work that you enjoy doing, go about your circuit, create you a little miniature environment that you enjoy, and just mind your business, go to work, go home. You know? And you'll have people out here running the streets saying, come follow me. Come be stupid like me. So be careless. They'll try to get you to go to bars and bar hopping. They'll try to get you to uh, waste your life. When you start to wake up, the, when you really start to see past this false reality they set up around you your whole life, and even a lot of your memories from childhood is not even real, the false memories, the trauma that they do. When you wake up that your grandparents, your parents, people around you, they didn't know what was going on. And they were just following a program too. When you wake up to that and you get totally free, it makes them so mad. It makes them so mad that they're, they're still scheming to, to pull you back into something. Seriously, they never stop. Because everybody's running on a program. And when you're free, and they see you free, these people on this program get, are possessed and they come after you. They learn what you believe or what you want or whatever. And they will send an agent, a future faker, a, a baiter, a, uh, what's that word that they use? For, uh person pretending to be somebody they're not forget the word but anyway they send these people and these people are not even real people they're not even real I wish I could remember that word they're like uh, It's a real popular word. Everybody knows what it is. I just can't remember it right now. They pretend to be somebody else that they're not and try to draw you in. It's all trauma-based. They're all liars. They're all con artists. They're all schemers. It's really sad. I mean, really sad. 